Happy Wednesday. Course correcting. Changing. It doesn't happen on a dime. I mean, it, it takes some time. It takes some time to adjust. It takes some time to uh, make subtle shifts and hopefully garner some results and some positive feedback. Uh, but then again, you may encounter some negative results at first, whether it's like adjusting a boundary with somebody, they might push back. Guaranteed, if it's something that, they, that you know, that changes their behavior or their behavior or their, uh, it becomes an imposition for them, they may push back. That's how boundaries go. But course correcting doesn't happen on a dime. Like I love the analogy of an oil tanker. You know, an oil tanker doesn't, you know, make a uh, 180 degree turn on the dime. It's not like you just crank the wheel, it would capsize. And so it's, it's a couple degrees, if that, at a time. And over a greater period of time, the oil tanker will turn all the way around safely. That's how I feel like my life has been and how the decisions that I make go. I mean, some may be more drastic than the degree analogy of the oil tanker, but still, it's, it's a lot of practice. It's a lot of, you know, I guess sometimes disappointment within myself, uh, but it also takes a lot of compassion that I need to apply toward myself, um, which I think is a fine line between compassion and letting myself off the hook and, and not being a drill sergeant because I, I come from a place of like bullying myself um, and talking you know, horribly uh, to myself. Um, so this place of compassion, of allowing myself to take missteps um, but still be held accountable for the error. Um, yeah, I mean, <laughs> life is in session and you get no dress rehearsals. I love all of those kind of analogies. And, you know, this is, um, this isn't, life is practice, but it's a living practice. It's a living, I mean, it really feels like a, a bit of Groundhog's Day, except this shell that I'm living in changes, you know, and you know, for better or for worse, it's getting old, it's, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's shifting a bit. Uh, maybe for you, it's getting better, <laughs> hopefully. I mean, but my mind and, and, and my heart are open, um, and my mind gets closed, and then my heart stays open, and I get conflicted, and my, you know, I wrestle with, uh, with my thoughts. Uh, but patience. And that has not been something that, it's been something that has not come super easy for me. Um, le learning to sit and, you know, as well as willingness, willingness to change uh, is easier for me now, but it was not, you know, I think we all come from that place or we have that place in our, you know, late teens, mid twenties that we think we know everything, you know, and, and I, as as you get a little bit older, you be, I don't know, for me, it's I began to think and know and like, wow, I know very little about a lot of things. <laughs> and I, know, I might know a lot about one thing. And it certainly is not how everybody else should live their life. Um, it's kind of sometimes it's not even how I should live my life. It's just about the next right indicated action. If anything that I can master, it would be listening to my heart and staying out of, uh, you know, what listening to my heart and staying out of my head, that would be, you know, an amazing thing to just master. But, uh, you know, I'm not there yet. Much love. Happy Wednesday.